So the next menu is settings. This is a really important menu. So you can uh, change your operating modes, which modes show up on top. User type, professional, gives you all access to all things. If you've got an inexperienced operator in here and don't want them to make a lot of adjustments in the monitor, you can set the beginner mode. Display settings, you can set the, the brightness of the screen. User defined, so these are these little boxes on the main screen. And you can come in here and select your display one. You can select the display two, like we showed in doing the box. You can pick what you want to read out in, in these different displays. The favorite management system. This is a new option or new standard feature on the new Jaguar 900 series with the CMOS handle. So the button that used to be always on the old handle, the roller crop press button, or side-to-side -side leveling for corn head, is now a favorites menu button. With favorites menu button, you can have up to seven positions. And we'll get into this a little bit later with the joystick. There's an up and down arrow, and you can select which one that you want. So if you put the box on position one, it will go to, you can see down here, it's right now we had the header side to side. But if you don't want header side to side, and let's say you want air horn, position one, you can have air horn. By doing that, you can see here in the menus, we can select air horn, we can select spout up and down, this, and so you can change it to whatever you want. So this here, because we have auto fill, we can have the auto fill. Um, filling height, we can use that trigger from our roller crop press trigger in the past to change that. And you see once uh, you stop pushing the button, it's down here in the bottom. And it'll even tell you at what number you're at. So you can put in different positions, different things uh, for that feature. Lighting, if you want the back lights to come on at night when you back up, you can do that. Is that well as with autofill, you can have the beacons, the flashing beacons come on when it senses the trailer is 75% full to alert the next empty truck that you're about full with that truck and, and he can get coming on to your area. Sound level, you can assign how loud the monitor beeps at you for codes and reminders. This is a very important menu, assignment of display areas. We do this to, so you can assign the boxes I talked about. So right now we have the um, header height boxes selected for number one. We have display one set. So if we wanted to put rear camera there, so now when I go back, you can see here we have the rear camera. So we can set whatever you want to put to that menu. Some other things is where here we can assign our camera outputs. And then the bottom one is basic settings where we assign English measurement, English language, miles or kilometers, the type of tons, acres, hectares, gallons, liters, and all of that type of thing. Then the last menu is information. If a code comes up, you can hit that to get more information.